Hey everyone, I am here today to show you an Envy Hair wig and I'm really excited because I got a super deal on this and so I'm thrilled. This is Lindsay by Envy in the color Chocolate Caramel. So Lindsay is an Envy Hair wig and what that means is this is a blend of 70% synthetic and 30% human hair. And I am in love with these fibers. I wish you guys could feel these. There is gonna be no way to describe how awesome they are, but I'm gonna do my best. So I found this wig actually on a resale site called Wig Sanity. And I'll link it in the bottom description. Basically, it's a place you can go to sell wigs if you wanna sell one or purchase wigs. And so similar to Flip Your Wig on Facebook or some of those wig sale sites or even eBay, um, Wig Sanity is another option. And so every now and then I do browse through Wig Sanity. I had never bought anything from there. Um, sometimes I feel the prices are a little high on there for gently used wigs. And so I just haven't ever really found the deal that I'm looking for until I found Lindsay. So first of all, look at this color chocolate caramel. It is to die for. I mean, it's so beautiful. I love this color. It is a warm kind of medium dark brown and it's just full of caramel. So beautiful. So I'll make sure you guys can see this in outside light. It's so pretty. I don't know because there's human hair in here and because it's also heat friendly synthetic. I don't know if, um, it would look different in synthetic. I'm assuming that it will because everything I've read has said that color shows up differently if the fibers are regular versus heat friendly versus the caramel. So, or not caramel, sorry, color's caramel, human hair. Um, so, but in this, it's just gorgeous. And the fibers, I mean, I can do this. Look at how smoothly my hands run through this. It's just, Amazing. I love, love, love these fibers. I can't usually do that so smoothly with regular synthetic. So it's just beautiful. I did film an out of the box, which I will tack on to the end of this because when she came to me, she was very, very flat in the front. Very flat. It was really difficult actually for me to film that um, out of the box because she just hung in my face so badly. And I also did a brief uh, video of me taking a hair dryer to her to give her some lift, which is what you're seeing here. The little bit of lift, it's not a ton of lift. I, I do think I need to do a little more work, but the lift you see here was done with water and a regular hair dryer. And that helped a ton. And I did video a little bit of that to show you the technique I was using. And I'm very, very pleased. So let's just look at the cut. It's so pretty. I love this wig. You know, I'm at risk of people thinking I love every wig, and that's not true. Okay, so something I'll point out on this one that I'm still wondering how I'm going to manage is the how the layering falls in the back. You see how it's kind of winging out down here? You know, I'm not sure if I love that. And so I'm going to have to play around with that a little bit. I don't know if I'll take um, more heat. You know, what I could do is I, I have a, a hot airbrush and I could take the hot airbrush and I could, you know, like blow dry it under and try to get more of an under curl back there so that it's not so kind of wingy or obvious that there's a lot of layers. So I'll keep thinking about that. Um, one of the things I plan to do is come back and um, give you guys some updates on this one. Similar to what I did with my Bell Trust Lady Latte that I, you know, was my first um, Bell Trust wig, first heat friendly fiber. I wore that one a lot um, so that I could come and give you guys updates. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And so I'll also be able to share you what styling I do with her. You know, I definitely want to get a little bit more lift in the front here that I may need to take steam with. I don't know if I'll keep doing the hair dryer trick or not. One thing about this is you can curl it. Um, so I can definitely, there's some wingy 
hairs down here, I could take heat to curl those under, a round brush to take them under, which I think I may do, but I wanna wear her a few times first before I go too crazy on any modifications. So let's let's talk about this way, uh, the cap a little bit. So Lindsay is a full mono top, lace front, and then the rest is wefted. So there's that mono. I'll show you the lace front too. Um, it has an extended nape. She does have the bra strap adjusters and the velvet ear tabs. So the rest with the metal stays and stuff in it. So the rest is pretty standard, but she has a great, great mono top, which helps for the realism on top. Also allows you to part anywhere you want. And as far as permatease goes, she doesn't have any. Well, let me double check on the top here. I, I don't feel any permatease. I want to see if she has any of that, those crimpy fibers. I don't see any. I don't see any permatease. So she really is uh, good. I mean, but she's good density. Sometimes in these straight bobs, if you don't have any permatease, they lay really flat. I'm thinking, um, so I've had John Renault Victoria, which is an adorable wig. And I believe that was fully hand tied. At least the it was a full mono top, if not fully hand tied, and there was no permatease in it. And because the hair density was very low on that one, she just laid so flat and sleek, so flat and sleek. And I, and she wasn't as long as this, but my face is so round. It's long and it's round. When you get a wig that's too flat, my face looks really fat. You know, and I don't like that. I don't really want to accentuate a part of my body that I don't love, which is the roundness of my face. So I do need just a little bit of body in wigs and it's hard to get those with no permatease. But with this one, she's got good hair density. So she does have a little bit of body to her because she's got a good amount of hair. The other thing I think really helps that is these heat friendly fibers act just a little bit differently than regular synthetic. And so you can get some more style out of a heat friendly, a little bit of body without needing permatease. I'm thinking about my straight up with a twist that I had by Raquel Welch. Um, again, there wasn't really like a ton of permatease, but because of that heat friendly synthetic, you could do this and get some really good body. And I love that. I can do that with this one too. Um, I'm at risk of, of making these fibers wear out faster because she feels so amazing. I literally cannot stop just doing this and touching her. It's, it's kind of a problem. So I gotta really rein myself in because she feels so good. Um, I do think the layering too, some subtle layering here really, really helps um, give it a little bit more lift because it's not all one length. Um, if you don't like the layering or these flippy ends, I mean, you can always take a scissors to her, but again, it's heat friendly and human hair, so you can take heat to it. So taking a round brush um, will do wonders. Putting some curl into the ends could really do well as, as well. So I think that there's lots and lots of options. Here's the lace front. This lace front is awesome. The one thing I will note on it, and I do note it in my out of the box, is that that lace front is very dense. So the knotting is really not a problem with this lace front. It is just super dense. There's a lot of hair up here, which at first, when I first put it on, I really thought I was gonna have trouble getting lift in the front because it was so dense. Um, it, it's not gonna be a problem, I can tell that already. So it's a great, great lace front. The lace is great, the monofilament, is fantastic. Um, I just love everything about this wig. What I will tell you is that it seems to run a little snug. I did not have to take in the adjusters at all and she fits me like a glove. I have, I have no extra cap up here. I really have no extra cap and I always have extra cap in wigs. I think she's an um, average petite. I really do. Um, if you are, uh, you got to look at my measurements. You know, I'm 22 inches around circumference. That's average, but I am very, very petite over the top of my head. So my fear is if you are much bigger than my measurements, this is going to be tight on you. Uh, the coverage 
is pretty typical. You can see all of my bio hair there. Um, the ear tabs, yeah, it's not, the coverage isn't bad. It's real typical for nearly all the wigs I get. The wigs that I have right now that um, have like amazing, amazing coverage are Nor Noriko brand. Um, those ones just have like, they come down so far that you can barely see my bio hair and sometimes you can't at all. Most of the time you can see my bio hair like this. So I would say the coverage is right on par with all other wigs I own. It's really the fit. Um, she is very, very uh, fitted on me. And again, the telltale sign for me is can I get cap up here? And I cannot. So keep that in mind. Look at my measurements. Um, so that's it. I mean, right now, I love this wig. I um, They're, they're kind of spendy. I think retail is between five and $600, I think. I paid $220 for this, including shipping, which is a lot of money for me. I don't usually get wigs that are that expensive. I try to pay 150 or less for wigs. It's why I have a lot of um, wigs from Wig Sisters because I can get better deals that way. And I just, I, I ha you know, I have to cut down on my spending, but since buying so many wigs early on, I just have kind of drawn a line in the sand. This was a splurge for me at $220, but I think worth every penny. Heather from Sister Wigs has a video on this exact wig. It's what sold me on buying it because she wore it for a month every day because she was very uncertain about these fibers. She said, I just basically threw her on my head for this video. I didn't do any styling. And this is exactly how she looked on day one as she does on day 30. Uh, so if you're curious, go check out Heather from Sister Wigs, C-Y-S-T-E-R-W-I-G-S, Sister Wigs, uh, her video on Lindsay because it's, it's what sold me and she's absolutely right. Now, let's be fair, I have not worn her. Today, I just took the heat to her because she's been sitting in a box. I've had her for about three or four weeks and I thought, I gotta start wearing this one and so I took heat to her today. I am gonna um, go, I'm gonna leave her on now and just kind of run around, do my errands, go grocery shopping and I'll come back and I'll give you guys an update but if you're really, really curious about the Envy hair and you've looked at them, you're wondering, should I, is it worth the money? Um, you know, obviously I don't know how it's gonna wear, but right now, oh yeah, I love it. It's great. If you want something that feels more natural, that, um, you know, looks more natural than synthetic, really think about this one and just stay tuned for my updates. Let me know if you have questions. Okay, now you can stick around for my out of the box, my, my hair dryer and an outside look. All right, guys, here's the out of the box, I promise you. This hair is unbelievable feeling. Seriously, you guys, if you can find yourself a deal, I'm assuming I'm gonna make this work, and the video you just finished watching is, is uh, Lindsay looking beautiful. I sure hope so, because this the hair feels so, so good. All right, so here she is, straight out of the box. She, I mean, there's no keeping her out of my face. There's really, it's really hard. I mean, I think I could clip her, but I can't, she, she won't stay. I've played with her with my hands. I mean, this is out of the box, but I have just tried to do this just to get her so I could film this and it's not happening. So I'll just give you a look at her. You can just see, she just doesn't want to cooperate. I mean, I can't, I can't even describe how great she feels. Um, the front is very densely tied. You can see my own hair through here. I want to get this so that you can see, because I don't know if you know how she's going to wind up looking, but the front is so densely tied, it's hard to pull her off. Because she, the it, knotting isn't the problem. It's not knotting. It's just so dense. I've never quite experienced a wig that's that dense on the lace front. Oh, you guys, she feels so amazing. All right, enough. This is her straight out of the box. I can't wait to see what happens. Thanks for watching, you guys. Hey, guys. Okay, so 
This is sort of an impromptu part of this video. I decided, to, right now I'm about to mess with Lindsay to see if I can train these bangs. I've already sprayed her some with water, that's why she looks like this. But I thought, oh, well, maybe I'll just film this real quick. I don't think I'm gonna film everything that I'm doing because I don't, my editing skills aren't very good and so I don't know how to speed up a video like some people do when they're showing how they do things. But I'll show you what I'm starting with, okay? So you saw the out of the box she, where she hangs in the face. Getting her wet actually helped a lot, but I'm sure once she dries, she'll go back to it. But all I did was I take, took my spray bottle of water, just plain water, and I'm just spraying down the front of her because um, everything that I've seen and watched, it says if you're going to take heat to a wig, um, you want to make sure that, that you've gotten it wet. So that's what I'm doing because all I really want to do to begin with is just try to get some lift up here so that I can get her off my face. And you can see just putting water in her is helping. I just don't think it's gonna stay that way once she dries. Now keep in mind, this is 70% um, synthetic and 30% human hair. But I have taken a hair dryer to other straight synthetic wigs. So have many, many women. There's lots of videos out there. Women in the Facebook groups post about it. So. I'm not worried about it on this one, especially even though there is synthetic in here. So I'm going to turn this on and just kind of show you. Right now, I have it on my my hair dryer has a cool, warm, hot setting. I'm going to have it on warm right now just to start. And then all I'm doing is I'm just going to try to blow dry it with some lift. Turn it up to hot because that warm feels really really cool so that's what I'm doing careful as I do this not to direct that heat and I want to keep doing this while it's warm not to direct that heat towards the lace front because I don't want to damage the lace front um, and I'm also being careful not to keep the heat on there for any long period of time because again I don't want to damage the fibers I just want the heat to start to redirect this if this doesn't work enough then what I would do is take seam but I'd like to try the heat first what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep doing this to the front of the wig, kind of both sides in the middle. It's also important that you keep it the direction you want to go as it's cooling. Because that will help set that style. I could also use the cold shot on here to help with that, which I probably will do as well. Um, I might even after I feel these fibers start to dry even more, I might clip it just so it can really dry, you know, kind of set the style that way. Look at that already. Look at that lift. Okay, so I know this is going to work. I just don't know how much and then, you know, will it hold? So I'll come back and I'll give you guys more information when I have it. Hey everyone. Okay, so I... At risk of this video being so long, I had to come back. So you just watched my review of this Envy Lindsay wig. You watched me take a hairdryer to her, and you also saw what I started with. This is how she is now. So the lift that I got with the hairdryer did not last. And I knew that after I, I wore her, um, I think the day that I filmed that video, which was over a month ago now, um, I wore her the rest of that day and slowly throughout the day she was doing this and I was constantly, constantly getting her out of my face. So that, um, the hairdryer method did not hold. So I'm here today because I'd like to show you 
what I'm going to do. So I am going to actually now take steam to her. I have my wig head here. And so let me get her situated on the wig head and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. So here's Lindsay. It's like I got her enough in the frame. I have, and just before I get started, I have uh, John Renault Christie on in the color Salted Caramel, and I just steamed Christie up off my face, uh, so I already had everything all set up. I do have a video on this Christie because she's quite modified. I had gotten her from a wig sister used. She's much shorter than typical. Uh, so hopefully if that video isn't already released, it will be soon, so stay tuned or look for that uh, because there's a story that I um, really wanted to share with you guys about this purchase. Um, all right, so Lindsay. So I've got her on my wig head. I've got her tacked down. I've got my John Rowe steamer. I don't know if you can see the steam, but it's full on bubbling. So, and I, and I like the John Renault steamer for the directed steam that you can get out of it. Do you have to use that steamer? Absolutely not. Any clothing steamer will work. Um, it's just that the issue you'll face is um, maybe too much steam, too broad of a swath of steam, whereas this, you can really direct it. So, the challenge I'm having here with Lindsay is that she's very front heavy. She has so much hair in the front. So how to get it to steam, where do I start? That's a real challenge that I'm facing right now. So I'm just going to kind of start back a little ways and I'm just going to start lifting it up because you don't, unless you just want a quick little lift in the front, you don't want to just steam up the front. You kind of want to get a gradual lift so that it doesn't look so extreme. That's what I did with the, with the Christie that I have on my head right now is I started back here and I started steaming and then I slowly worked my way up to the front so I could get some uniform lift. The other thing you have to remember, and if, for those of you who've seen some of my videos before, this will just be a repeat, but you have to remember that you've got to kind of hold it in place till it starts to cool. Um, if I just took the steam and then let it go, it's gonna fall back down and it's not gonna hold. So you definitely wanna make sure it's gonna hold. The other thing I'm being really careful of is I'm not getting it on the lace, the monofilament or the lace. I'm keeping it directed close to the base of the hair, but more in an upward direction. And I'm just feeling it to see as it's starting to cool off. This Christy took me no time to steam. I think Lindsay's gonna take a little longer because she has a lot more hair than Christy has. I'm also not holding it on very long. I'm pulling it off and then putting it back on. Now, I have never done this with a heat-friendly wig before. And as you recall, Lindsay is human hair and synthetic heat friendly synthetic. So it's gonna be interesting to see if this behaves the same as my Christie, which is full synthetic. I also talked about in my other video how um, I've now I've steamed a John Renault Scarlet and a Christie, but what I learned from my Scarlet was what looked like a lot of lift in on the wig head actually didn't look like a lot of lift on my head. So I, when I did my Christie just now, I actually steamed her more than I thought I needed to. Um, remembering that was how it went with um, Scarlet, and that was perfect. All right, so I really think learning how to do this is going to be so critical. I really encourage you guys to play around with wigs and learn how to do this stuff. Whether you wait till you have an older wig because you're just too nervous or you 
Maybe you can buy a used wig from someone. Maybe someone would sell you a wig bound for the garbage for like the cost of shipping in 25 bucks or something for their effort. Um, I just, you know, opening up the world of up possibilities is so helpful. Okay, so you can see she's still quite wet, but you can see there's now some lift here. And I don't want to leave it on that side. I definitely want to get a little lift on the other side. Otherwise, it's going to look lopsided. So I'm going to start a little ways back. Hoping that I'm getting a good shot here. I don't know how to speed these up, you guys. I use the most basic editing software that came on my um, computer. And it's not really editing. All it allows me to do is, you know, like splice a couple of videos together. I literally like drag them down one after the other in the order I want them to go. I can add some basic text to a video, but I can't, I, I'm not editing it. So I, I, there's no option on that basic editing stuff for me to speed this up, which is why I'm just chatting with you guys as I'm doing this. Um, hopefully if you're watching it on your on a smart device like a cell phone or a tablet, you can just double, and you're using an app, you can just double tap on the right hand side and skip ahead 10 seconds. Um, on, a, on a computer, it's a little trickier. But um, anyway, so now I'm just trying to make sure if I've got some good lift sort of all along here. And you hold it, remember, you want to make sure that it takes. You know, I could kind of do this. Something that I did with my Christy here just a minute ago when I was steaming it is I tried to take a few little claw clips and like hold up the hair. It ended up crimping where the clip was. And so I was able to get the crimps out um, by just re-steaming it, but um, there may be a way to clip it up. I probably would wait to clip it up until after I've steamed it and then just to let it dry. I, I probably wouldn't do that again. All right, so I'm, I'm noticing that this part's just a little bit flatter, so I'm going to and you know, I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend putting your hands in there like I am. I'm holding them quite a ways up, um, but the steam is hot. You don't wanna burn yourself. But I'm really just trying to make sure I can get some uniform lift. All right, I'm thinking that looks pretty good. See? All right, so I'm going to let her dry, and then I'll come back, and I'll put her on, and we'll see what we got. Hey, guys, I'm back real quick because I wanted to do one more thing. I know in my other video, I talked about how this bottom lays. So I have a round brush that I thought maybe I would try some steam with this. So I'm not sure how best to accomplish this. So maybe I'll do it in a little bit here. Um, hopefully you can see. All right. So I'm just taking a little bit. I'm going to hit it with steam. maybe direct it to go under a little bit. All right. I think I'm running out of water here. Maybe I'll even, if I get this, 
Yeah, I've still got a little bit. Maybe I'll do it a few more times and then I'll see if a hair dryer will actually work on this once it's been steamed a little and is wet. I'm not as worried about holding it on. This is for a little bit longer because it's not near the monofilament. I'm kind of liking that. All right, so let me try this again. Yeah, I'm pretty much out of water at this point. There, now I've got a little bit of a curve under, and if I just let it sit and dry, I'm hoping it will hold. All right, see that? All right, so I'll be back to see how this whole thing turned out. <laughs> All right, I am back. Oh, so Lindsay is dry, and look at how much better. Oh my gosh so much better. It's really remarkable how much better she is. There's so much more lift up on the top here. Um, am I done? I'm not sure. I mean, I think, you know, lesson learned last time was that what I thought had given some lift didn't hold it all. So I'm going to have to play around. I, I definitely, this is better than it was um, even after the last hair drying episode. So I definitely think this is going to be good. Um, some things I'm noticing, these layers are, I just, I almost feel like she's going to need a trim from some of these longer layers. I'm not loving how they're laying, but I'm gonna wear her some and see if I can figure out what might be a solution to that. And you saw I did take a little steam to the back and that helped a lot back here. She is curling under just a little bit better than she was. Ah, oh, darn color. All right. So I feel like I can finally splice all these videos together and upload something on Lindsay. Um, I'll be back to give you guys updates. I want to, you know, tell you how these fibers are wearing. Uh, Heather from Sister Wigs, I can't remember if I mentioned it in my other video, had done a video on Lindsay and she had been, she wore her for a month before she filmed her video and she was raving about her. That is actually what helped convince me to buy her because I know Heather can be a little bit picky about wigs and, you know, even though she's running a business I, I I trust that she gives us good information so that really helped me so I'm liking it I I don't know you guys these fibers are truly amazing I can't even imagine what a human hair wig a full human hair wig might feel like it's given me kind of more urges to try human hair I hope someday I will maybe next year if I can stay real disciplined and not purchase other wigs. Maybe I can save up my money for human hair. All right. Hope this was, I'm sure this is going to be like marathon video. I hope it was helpful for those of you who really needed the help. And for those of you who are just curious, hopefully you could fast forward through the parts you didn't really care about. Thanks for watching. And I will talk to you guys soon. Hey guys. Okay. So here's Envy Lindsay outside. This is chocolate caramel. I'm really struggling to get these outside videos right now because it's fall and I've got really hardly any leaves on the tree. So when it's a sunny day, I'm having trouble finding like natural shade that isn't shade from a building, <laughs> which does distort it a little. So this is what it looks like in full sun. I can't even look at the camera right now because the sun's so bright in my eyes. But it doesn't matter, you're not here to see me. Look at that color. I just am in love with this color. You know, I am such a fan of kind of medium dark browns that have a lot of caramel. I just think they're so pretty. I'm gonna try to go to the front yard here. I'm going through a fence and I gotta make sure I close my doggies back in. See if I can get some shade somewhere that isn't you know, caused by a building. Okay, there's a tree over here so with that actually still has quite a few leaves on it 
our front yard tree is a little slower. All right, so that's been chocolate caramel on Lindsay. I love this one so much. Hopefully that was helpful. The wind's blowing it all in my face. Thanks for watching, you guys.